yesterday class we have discussed about these functions like uh, what are different different type of function in um, TypeScript then we have discussed about thing like optional parameter and default parameter and also discuss about this how to call the function using the default parameter and all these things and return parameter all these things discuss and rest parameter right let's go and start with on the new things today we'll go and learn about class before going into class uh, you have to know what is a class okay i think all of you know that class because for uh, if you, you if you are from java or any other programming languages then you know there is a concept of class means class is an entity where you can create the instance instance of that entity just example let me save something just imagine uh, like um, just imagine uh, suppose uh, suppose this is our human being and we are thinking human being is a class and all the human being all the human being all are this like like what happened what i'm trying to say here class means you have to create a entity just entity means suppose a human being all the property of a entity all the property of a human being or this class if you are going to create the multiple object because this class i am not going to index but you have to know that class is one kind of structure or entity where you can create a multiple object and a class contain its own attribute and its own property and own function example just giving a, just taking an example so a human being so as a human being suppose you have a hand right you have hand or you have leg these are the different different property of uh, these are the different, different property of human being means the different, different property of human being but using this hand or leg suppose you are walking or you, suppose you are um, Doing all that activity using this property were called as method or function. Simple one, I am giving an example. Just imagine human being is a class, and in human being, you have hand or leg and different, different uh, type of property. Means, suppose just example, hand is a property, and leg is a property, all these different type of organ is a different, different property. Okay using this property or using this attribute property or attribute you can say anything using this property or attribute if you are doing any work okay if you are doing any work then we call as method or function in simple way just imagine means using leg you are working suppose uh, using hand suppose you are clapping or doing anything that will call as a method or function means what i am trying to say it here in the place of class So class suppose example class is an entity which will do some task example human is an example of class all the just example organs are all organs are attribute or property same way working of organs is called function or method let me give you an actual real real example example means suppose employee in an organization you have an employee then just example we create a class called employee in this class the class name is employee employee is class in the class the attribute or the property of a employee suppose the name because you want to store a name then you want to store suppose age suppose you want to store uh, suppose gender and you have to store suppose date of birth 
and suppose example the address okay. these all are and you are selling the salary these all are the different different attribute different different property of a employee class okay means where we actually attribute means where we are going to store the data okay means if you want to get suppose you have to write a function you have to you want to get data get me get the employee which age is greater than suppose 35 and what will do using this data of birth you can get the employee information means using the attribute using the attribute if you want to do any kind of operation using the attribute if you want to do any kind of operation then we call as a function okay this is a basic overall idea of a class you have to know but to learn about much more into the class you go and learn about oops because from day one i'm saying you have to learn about the oops concept okay this is called method i think all of you know all these things but let me repeat all, all ticket means what i'm trying to say to here if you want to create an employee class and all the attribute or the property we call as name, gender, date of birth, order, salary, etc., we call as attribute. But using this attribute, if you want to do any kind of operation, any kind of like functionality in your in your class, then we call as a method or functions. Okay. If some okay, uh, there is one difference between method and functions. You have to know that if you are using any um, functions inside a, a class we call as a method you can call as a method or functions and if you are using anything outside the class we can call as a functions there is no basic difference but this, this is not terminology you have to know that which term you have to use in which places if any function inside a class we call as a method if a function outside the outside the class we call as a normal function okay this is all about the how we are going to create a uh, these are the deep, uh, basic information about a class now by default javascript does not contain any kind of class means if you are go work in javascript javascript don't have any concept called as class but now in modern javascript if you want to do any kind of a class operation then javascript supporting now all this class okay let me go and create one class and show you how it's going to work okay for that let me go create one um, class and suppose um, uh, class suppose one dot ps okay to create a class we have to use syntax called class okay class then suppose same you create a function as a class then suppose you are giving the class name called as employee class, class to start a class you have to use a class statement the same let me write to create a class equal class keyword okay class then class name to define a class and see that what i did it here you define a class to to if the if you are using class keyword then you are using class then you have to use the class name okay let me say you something in programming there is a two type of case management case means when you declare something in javascript or like in javascript there is two type of naming convention we are following one is one is pascal case other one is camel case okay. you see that i have two type of case we have to follow one is pascal case another one is camel case means if you are declaring any class any class in javascript or typescript whatever then you have to go for pascal case let me go and define what is a pascal case pascal case means all the character all the character of the first let's suppose employee suppose you are adding one class called 
all the character of a first character all the character of a letter the first letter the first character of a letter always be capital means if you defining suppose the employee name suppose employee name employee name you can see that employee is a letter the word then name is another word like right? these are the different things here what you need to do the first character of this word should be capital the next character of the word should be the capital then you can see that this is called the employee name this is you have to declare this employee name in class define any kind of class name you have to follow this pascal case but if you want to declare any kind of variable or any function you have, you have to use the camel case what is camel case you can see that the name the same employee name if i go define in the this camel case then you can see that employee name means first it should be looks like a camel means the uh, camel you know that the how the camel this this way a camel case means this one it will start from here it will go top and go here okay this is the case of camel case pascal means all the time the first character will be top okay all the time first character will top then this will this way camel case means the, this will come lower case upper case go lower case camel case means uh, pascal case means it will start from top then go down go down go down this way okay this is called the pascal case you can see that here in the case of camel case my first character of this variable or this function anything will be lower case and rest will go this way in case of pascal case my first character of this of this this word will be always be capital and if the, any other thing will come this is always going to start from the capital only these are the two structure you have to use in javascript variable or method or function this is just naming convention you have to follow all these things okay means what we learn to define a class we have to use a class keyword then you have to give a class name as you know the class contain the structure of constructor okay so we will go later that one to define a attribute to define an attribute we have to create suppose name name type will be string value there is not, no value same age suppose date of birth type will be date with no value then gender will be string okay and date of birth suppose address will be the string what happened i have created a class inside class i have defined the attribute okay. the name date of birth gender and address now you'll ask what is this date is there because if you learn javascript in javascript there is a concept called date to define to work with any date and time then there is a predefined type called date means work with date and time okay we have to use data date data type Which date data type is used to work with all the different types suppose get the current time get the current date year month whatever about the date you have to use the data attribute. let me go and before going into class you have to understand all this different different thing like you know that the gender is the gender is a string but just remember the gender we have fixed value right fixed value means either it will be male or it will be female or it will be other right these are three things means apart from this three there is no other gender right male female or other now what will happen if it's a string then what will happen user can able to change this one right able user you can user can able to add uh, suppose a male female other you can add xyz right to prevent this kind of data like prevent this kind of uh, error in programming because if you know that the gender always be this three means three means in between three 
user is going to select only once right apart from apart from this three user we are not giving the user the option to select apart from this three means when you have a list of constant just um, just uh, let me tell you the, about the, this thing if you have list of constant in your program then instead of using the string use the concept of enum let me tell you what is enum instead of using string if you have list of constants then use enum programming also you know if you from java or c sir there is a concept called enum enum means you are going to define the same type of a data in list means the, all the data inside your enum is a constant let me give you an example last class we have discussed last to last class we discussed about object right object means it's a group of variable okay it's a group of variable if you combine give a name we call it object the same case enum means what you want to do suppose you have to use enum to create a enum you are using the enum keyword then enum name suppose i am doing the agenda inside gender what you will do you will define the what are the gender you have example suppose you have a male you have female and you have other and what happened i have created this male female and other as a enum means it's a constant type for that instead of using string here you can use the gender means what happened if user want to set the gender for this variable or something then he has or the ci don't don't have don't have the much more option like only for this apart from this three there is no other option available to select the gender means what i am to trying to say it here if in your data type in your program you have a data and that should be a constant type constant type means you, you already know that okay apart from this this data i don't have give option to user to, to choose another data in that case instead of defining string number or etc just go and define a type called enum if you define the type called enum then what will happen user don't have another option to choose apart from this three okay you clear about this uh, like enum enum means you just create a list of constant okay list of constant and assign this list of constant to one of the variable then what will happen apart from this three apart from this three user has don't have any other option to choose okay let me show you something if you can see that whenever you go uh, add any uh, like uh, <clears throat> if you add any kind of uh, item inside a um, enum what happen you can see that by default you, you whatever item you are adding it uh, is created internal one on item you can see that male is value is 0 female is 1 other one is 2 because 0 1 2 this way this getting created what i am saying in enum you can use either integer you can see that it's a different integer 0 1 2 it's a default they're giving an index apart from that you can use the string string means if you don't give any value just example i'm giving create another one called gender 2 okay in gender 2 what will happen if i don't add in any of the value to this each and every constant of this each and every item of this enum then what will happen by default enum is going to give you 0 1 2 this way okay but in some of the cases that is not required you want to change the value of the each and every one in that case you have to use the equal operator then you have to go you can assign the value what's happening instead of using index instead of using index if you want to use like if you want to use the string notation string value of of a enum then you have to use this way this is the integer integer representation like 0 1 2 index will start in case of 
like gender you want to use a string then you have to use male suppose male equal to male female equal to female other equal to other then what will happen auto by default this gender now a string whereas this gender is a number and this gender too is a string based on your requirement in in typescript is giving two way of declaring a enum one is integer way another one is we can call another one is a string way based on your requirement you have to go and use the concept of this gender means concept of enum okay before going into all this thing class and all this thing let me create one class called suppose enum um, example enum example.ts we will learn with this enum okay let me go and copy this one okay let me go and copy this one i'll tell you something let me go copy this one and paste it here now if you want to you can see that i have two enum here and if i go and call suppose const uh, data equal to gender one dot you can see that what's happening here instead of this three instead of this three what happening i am not getting any other option to select means i can only able to select only this any of the one between all these three first example i am killing male so this is the data one same way i'll go and log data two equal to gender two dot suppose female okay no same male what i did we have defined two enum and inside the enum one is integer type enum another one is string type enum and what we did we have created two variables and assign one integer enum to here one string uh, enum to here let me go and log this data one and this data two we'll see what is displaying to us Okay. Here, on that, suppose the TSC enum hyphen ex dot ts. Okay, compile then node enum hyphen ex dot JavaScript. You can see, guys. What is displaying? Same data. You can see the same data. For this data, it is displaying zero. For this data too, it is displaying male. Why? We are using the same concept. Here, you can see that if you don't assign any value to a enum, by default, the enum is a number type and it will go into align based on the uh, first item we start from 0 index 0 1 2 3 it will go into work so that way if you want to assign any value to your if you are going to assign any value to your uh, uh, enum then you have to use equal operator you can use it it's a string type if you want to pass 1 2 3 4 5 6 also you can do that example if i create an another enum okay another enum called 3 and here instead of mail i can use so 100 and 200 and 300 what i am trying to say it here as i told enum is a group of constant what is that enum enum is a group of constants same way object is a group of variable same way what happening here if you go and declare a enum means it is give you option to select only this item the inside of this item if you don't assign any value then by default it will start from 0 1 2 if you're going to assign the value based on your requirement you can go and assign the value okay it's up to you how you can do you can use a string you can use a anything it's up to you how you can go and work it it's up to you how you can go and use this enum data but always remember this enum data always be constant 
and if you don't assign any value by default start from 0 1 2 index okay then you can see it here what you see the same data i have print one is string another one is number right if you go and print it <coughs> it's going to display me the same mail displaying zero because here we don't have any data for that reason it's, it's a zero index and here we have assigned mail equal to like this one uh, and this one is a mail for that reason is displaying mail okay clear about the enum now the things will be now i want to use this enum this enum to this class this enum to this class now what i am to trying to say it here like if you are to use one file to another type script then how you can use that suppose if i go and use gender here you can if i enter okay, what happening is this what if it is going to work it here right let me go and do one thing i suppose tsc um, class hyphen ex dot ps what is saying you can see that error it's saying what happened okay cannot find a name called gender why because this gender is defined in this class and this gender you want to use this gender you want to use here then what you do let me try okay let me go and discuss what i did if in typescript in typescript special typescript if you want to use any other class in other file inside your class always remember in in typescript you want to use your other file inside another file then always remember whatever data you want to display there you have to use the keyword called export export means you are saying to the compiler okay this data is export exported by this by this file means you can go and use this class you, you go and use this whatever is this it may be class it may be anything if you go and use this one in your program if you don't export means you are not giving it a public access export means you are exporting this data if you don't give the export keyword then what will happen this is not going to access in other places always remember if you go and declare anything any file and if you want to access that file that data or that class or anything you want to use in another file or another page in that case you have to use the concept of export if you go and use export then what happened now you are saying to a compiler okay this data is now publicly available from this file means this data is available now to use this this data in your project here uh, you export it then you have to import import means if anyone from java and all this thing you are importing the um, you are importing all this kind of um, namespace right the same way once you export something once you export some data to this class to this file sorry to this file if you want to import then you have to use the concept called import keyword you have to import what you want to import i have i want to import gender then where you want to import then from okay import whatever you want to import from which class which file sorry which file then you have to give the file name now what happening automatically whatever you importing here you can use this import in your page the same way before going to import you have to remember that you must have to export from here 
same example if i go and use gender 2 it's going to give an error why because this gender 2 is not expected here is not expected by this um, this file if you use this export keyword then what will happen then you can able to use this this one in this places that is the case of import and export import means you have to import some external file from external file into your file to use the import one if you want to use this import you make sure that whatever you are importing from this file that should be export means if we export this one then this is going to be import all the places that is the use of import and export don't forget this one this is the basic stuff suppose in future you will not going to write all the code in same page right all the code not same page means you will create a different different page and the based on different different page you want to export or that you have to export the data once you export the data then you have to use that data inside your logic based on the import the same way if you are to export anything just before that just use the keyword called export if you use the export one then what will happen you are saying to compiler okay this one anything it may be class it may be object it, sorry, it may be class it may be enum it may be variable constant everything you are saying that I am ready to export this class to outside this file. Means what will happen? When anyone is going to use this class, then what use this file, what will happen? Automatically, the compiler is going to export this data and import it there. That is the use of export and import. Always remember this is the basic stuff for um, TypeScript. If you go and write any programming in TypeScript or uh, any programming in React or any programming in Angular, any of the uh, or in future in node.js also if you go and use you have remembered this concept of import and export okay import and export means export means you are exporting this data to access outside this file import means you are accessing the the file whatever you want to export inside this your file this is called the export and import clear but our main our main topic will be the enum the enum means you have to go and define a list of constant and instead of for giving this direct access you are giving access by the constant this is the one way where you can go and program your <coughs> uh, enum okay this is one kind of design just imagine uh, instead of creating enum instead of creating enum and you want to define a constant what i told enum is a group of constant okay let me go and define something called here instead of using gender what i'll do i will define list of constant in line what is in line let me do mail mail Now you'll ask what I did. Okay. Just example gender one comma gender gender two. Example is gender two. Guys, we are not going into class in we are going to class in depth. Before that, you have to know different different type because in the initial days we discuss about the different data type, string, number, boolean, object, all these things, right? Today we are going to learn different different type of data type in TypeScript. Okay clear about the enum right enum means you have to go and create a list of constant okay but just example what you have to do instead of creating all these things instead of creating all these things you want to create the same one the same one like this enum you want to create but without declaring any kind of enum keyword then you will go for 
this kind of structure means you are saying that my gender 2 is either one of them it may be male this is or operator right you all know it's or operator either male or female or other then what happen if you go and access this gender gender 2 then it is always give you have to always pass either male female or other okay let me clear using one example suppose let suppose um, function equal to number one we have an addition same number one number two and opt operator okay and returning number what about this okay operator will do later forget about this what i'm trying this is a basic function to call a function we have to call a function and pass 10 20 and we have to pass anything but pass suppose plus okay i imagine if you are go you will go and design design, uh, design two enum one is enum operator operator here operator we have defined plus minus sorry and suppose plus and um, minus multiplication and division just examples okay here what will do instead of giving this uh, string we can pass the operator here right and here you can see instead of giving this one operator dot plus clear say using the operator means instead of passing all these things because you know that you are passing all these things and here you're gonna add a switch case switch of opt and you have a case called op plus and minus etc right About yes. Okay, this is the basic one. What I did I have created an operator, its content plus minus divisible uh, all are my constant, and instead of passing plus all these things, what I did I have passing this operator. Okay, let me do create the same type of function without enum, but we can use the constant. Okay, let me copy this one and what I'll do instead of fung, I will use the suppose fung uh, constant function one. Okay, now instead of using this operator, what I'll do, I'll create a constant by default here. Suppose I'll create plus or minus or or. or What happening here instead of creating enum I have created the value diet fixed here and what happened suppose I want to call this function one function one if I am going to call so let me pass 10 20 then you can see I can only pass only in between this means here instead of creating enum also if you want to create the constant then you can go using this or operator means you can define plus or minus plus multiplication plus division in this case what will happen same thing you are doing, doing as a enum but only difference is here you are declaring all the constant here then you then will ask what is the use of this over to this okay guys you don't know in future what the problem will come means what is the function that will come just example you have to define export just example you have to define an export export means 
file export okay file export you have only two options one is suppose csv another one is suppose pdf either you can go and design this kind of enum otherwise instead of doing the, this you can pass csv or pdf here based on the logic you can write that okay this is same pretty much same enum and all this kind of this or one it both are same the only difference is how you can go and declare all these things means if you are going to declare this operator then you can create this operator and export it and you can use all the presses if you don't want to export and don't want to use and you want to only know that okay these are the option you need to pass in that case you have to use this kind of declaration otherwise you can go and declare this enum, enum type of operation right i always recommended go for enum it will be always be clean and all these things but some of the class some of the time if you want to use this kind of operation they can go and design this way means why i'm saying because this typescript giving us two way to define the list group of constant one is using enum one is direct you can pass this way okay here if you can see i have only division suppose i'm using division then it's going to work here in the case one and see i have also giving the all these things suppose division and to go and write your program based on this division here the difference in these two one is you are using the enum another one is it's an inline kind of enum inline enum means you are not declaring any enum keyword you just giving all these things in the same line this is also give a option you have to go to pass here you are passing in in this in here you have to pass in the data using this enum name and the enum value whereas in this case you are passing as a direct you have to pass in the value okay these are the two way you can go and use the constant group using enum enum or that, that is a direct you have to use this way clear then let me go this is our uh, two structure right whatever we are doing all these things gender one suppose gender two now there are another type we have to discuss that is called suppose you don't know a type okay you will ask why i don't know suppose something is returning from your server something is returning from your api and you don't know the type just example suppose um, an example of this previous experience and you don't know what is the previous experience will come the type will come okay in that case you cannot go and simple define okay it will be string it may be number it may be anything if you don't know the type if you don't know the type by default what will happen the the um, type script is giving you one keyword data type called any any means if you don't know the type of the value then declare any type means any type means it will also store number string boolean object and custom also i will ask if any is going to solve all this problem means if you declare any you can store a number you can store a boolean you can store a object you can store any anything then why i will go and use this kind of structure as i told earlier typescript is not typescript is not defined to like write a program means it's designed to how you can go and give a type of a variable means each and every places if you are going to use any variable anything in your programming you have to define a type due to that any is okay if you don't know anything then you have to use any but if you know something that what I, I know that the gender will come as this enum i know that my name will always be a string my date of birth will always be a date then why i go and use any keyword here right if you don't know about the data type of a variable data type of a function the return type of a function in that case you have to use any 
but i always recommended don't use any at any cost like okay if there is if you don't know the type that okay but always remember you have to declare any data type because always you know you are writing program right you know that what is the data type should be the name the data bar gender all these things for that reason you have to declare the type and in some cases if you think okay i don't know the type what will be going to come you don't know about what will be going to change in future in that case use any always remember any means it's going to store all the data i'll give you an example let value any okay then i can do value equal to one two three because a b c same value i can change to one two three same value i can change to false okay but if i go and define let value 2 equal to string string then i can only assign value 2 equal to string only but if i go and change value 2 to 1 2 3 it's giving an error right that will learn what the difference between a, a string you are defining this value to is a string type whereas if you are defining any type as a any it will be treat as a var in javascript if you declare any as a type of a any of the variables then it will treat as a var of javascript and for that reason you have to consider which one you want to use but there is some cases where you need to use any because you don't know suppose you are accessing some data and you don't know what the type should become in that case you are going to use any but always remember you have to use other type expect any because any means you don't know what is going to come okay means any can be stored okay just example you want to store the string of data I mean array of string then what will go you have to define one let suppose the data equal to string of array right but just example if here here what will happen you can store the data in string format but the same syntax suppose let data 2 data 1 data, so data, data 2 equal to any means is any also going to store the array the any also going to store the string means the any can do anything means it can be store all the data due to that what will happen suppose you want to push some data to this data what will happen go data dot push into adding some data okay, xyz but here you don't know what you want to push like there is no functional coming any type in there is nothing will be there then you have to do one thing data two dot push data two dot push xyz go any equal to you have to initialize the array you can see that i can here i have declared a string type and define it's a array then initialize here you can see what i did here i have declared any and i can declare here but here if you go data push and if i go here and if i go write one two three it's going to give an error because it's saying that this is a string type but same thing if i go it here and push one two three data to that push one two three is not showing an error because due to its any type any type is going to access all the data it can be string number boolean object xyz enum anything whatever inside your program what, what's whatever value inside uh, for your variable is going to store for that reason it's always be risky to use any over to a fixed data type always remember if you are doing any programming always go for a data type it may be string number character object class etc interface etc but if you go and use the concept of any the problem is you don't know what is the type you want to specify okay that is the basic information that is the basic uses of a any over to a fixed data type okay but in in some of the program if you want to use this any that is okay because some of the time you don't know the data type what is coming from the api or what is coming from a different data source right in that case if you want to use the data type if you don't know the data type just use the concept of any clear 
any is used to declare a, declare a data type where you can store any kind of value based on the name you can see that is any kind of value right this is called any any operator any data type so now what we learn today we have learned how to define a class how to add a attribute and more about the attribute we discuss about the enum and the, this inline enum as well as the any type right clear okay tomorrow we'll go and start with like how to do the getter setter and how to do this constructor all these things we're going to learn yeah thank you all thank you for your time see you tomorrow tomorrow we're going to start on this constructor all this deep into this class okay thank you